The biggest complaint I get about Google Docs is that you can't make columns in a Google Doc. This complaint usually comes from avid users of Word. And I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can make columns so you can have text side by side. It just takes a couple of extra clicks. You don't have to do an interpretive dance. You don't have to jump up and down. You don't have to walk to the copier. You don't have to get out your scissors and tape and do a manual cut and paste. Just takes a couple of extra clicks. I'll go ahead and show you how to do this on this doc. I've already set it up. I've called it Columns. And you remember, you can rename your document by simply clicking on the title and renaming it in this pop-up. I'm going to keep it as this name, so I'll just click OK. And I've already set up the directions of what I want my students to do. And then they're going to read two articles on bullying side by side, and then they're going to work with a partner to compare and contrast the author's attitude. The first thing you need to do is come up here in your tabs, and you're going to click on Table. And I know you don't want to add a table. You actually want to add columns, but this is how you do it. So you click on Table, and you want to insert a table. Now, you can add a table that has 20 by 20 columns and rows. At this point, we simply want a two by one, and that will give you two columns. If you want three columns, you do a three by one, four columns, four by one. So I'm gonna click on a two by one because I have two articles that I'd like to share with my students. I'm gonna go ahead and click the boxes and you notice they'll um, highlight in blue. And here pops up two cells, a right and a left. Now these cells are gonna get much bigger as we put information into them. Now the information I want is going to come from the Los Angeles Times. They have some very good articles on bullying. Um, I'm going to start with this one, Don't Ignore Sibling Bullying. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And once it pops up, I am going to highlight all of the text that I want my students to read. And I want them to read everything. And I'm going to come all the way down here to the author information. And I found that if you want to highlight a large area of text, the best way to do it is start at the bottom. For some reason, scroll works much easier, the automatic scroll, if you start at the bottom of the text. Now, you can copy this by using your hotkeys, control C, or right clicking and clicking copy, whichever way you're most comfortable with. Now I'm going to go back up here to my document, and in the right column, I'm going to make sure that my cursor is blinking there, and I am going to paste. Now, this time I'm going to use the right click and paste. And if you notice, the whole article popped right up here in the left-hand column. Now I also want the title, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight just the title with the author's name and the publication date. And I'm going to use Control C to copy that. And I'm going to click right here. at the top of my article, and I'm going to paste, and the title pops up there so that it's nice and neat. Now, if I'm gonna send this to my students digitally, I can actually make this table a little bigger so you fit more of the article in a shorter amount of pages. So you just make sure you get this two-way arrow, and you can grab these sides out as far as you'd like, as long as they stay within the page. If you're going to print this, you might have some problems, but because we're using Google Docs, hopefully you're using Chromebooks or some type of technology or some type of hardware that won't, that'll make it so that you don't have to make copies. So right now we have one article. I'm going to go back up to my LA Times and I'm going to use the back button and I'm going to get to that list of bullying articles. And there was another one I chose and it was about, let's see, which one was it here? Oh, even popular kids are bullied in high school. So I'm going to click on that one, and I liked this article. I thought the author had a very good take on this particular topic. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the article, and I'm going to highlight the entire text. Once again, starting at the bottom makes the scroll work easier. Um, I don't want this picture in here, so I'm going to make sure that that doesn't highlight. And I'm going to right-click and copy. I'm going to go back to my original document. This time I'm going to make sure that my cursor is blinking in the right column, and I'm going to use Control V to paste. You can use Control V or right click, whichever you're most comfortable with. If you notice this article is a little bit longer, 
Now I also want this title in here. I'm doing these separately so that all of this extra information, um, the Facebook and the tweet buttons don't get put into my, onto my page. All right, my cursor is not working with me right now. So I'm gonna give it a second to behave. Maybe another second to behave. Isn't this always the way? When you're showing someone how to do something, it never works the way you want it to. Ah, there we go. All right, and I'm going to highlight this information with my cursor. Oh, I'm going to make sure I get it all in there. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, now that I've highlighted, I'm gonna use Control C to copy. I'm gonna come back to my document. And I'm going to paste it at the top. And I should be able to get rid of some of these extra spaces here. There we go. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You don't like these borders. These black borders are not what you'd like. You'd like columns without borders. Now, if you like the borders, leave them there. If not, it's very simple to get rid of them. You click in either one of the cells so that your cursor is blinking, and then you do a right click. If you're on a PC, that's just a right click. If you're on a Mac, that's control click. And if you're on a Chromebook, you're going to um, tap with two fingers on the trackpad. In this pop-up, if you scroll down, there's a table properties choice. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then up here where it says table border, those are the black borders that some of you might not like. You can actually change the color of those. You can make them any color that's in the palette. We are going to make them white, and that's actually going to make them disappear. They're going to blend right in to the background. Click OK. And in just a second, they will disappear. And if you notice, we still have two articles in columns side by side. So barring any further technical difficulties or any technical difficulties on your part, you should now be able to create columns in Google Documents.